This is a short review on 45 degree offsets. What we're looking at here is a plan view of a powder room, which has a water closet on the right hand side and a domestic lavatory on the left hand side. And what this plan view is showing with our red lines is showing our, our sanitary drainage lines for those two fixtures. And what we have to do is find the lengths of our different pieces of pipe. So our L pipe goes from the center of this big circle here, which is the water closet flange over to the center of this 45 degree elbow. Our pipe N goes from that 45 shares with the L over to the Y, which intersects with pipe M. M goes from that center of that Y over to the center of the 45 here. And then pipe K goes from the center of that 45 to the center of this circle here, which is more than likely a TY fitting looking from above. And this circle is situated in the center of this wall. Now looking at a different way on the drawing now, I've indicated five different numbers and these numbers will uh, stand or represent a measurement. So number one represents a measurement that goes from the center of this um, big red circle, which happens to be the drainage and then slash continuous vent for the laboratory over to the right hand side to the center of the circle, the big circle, which is the water closet flange. Dimension number two goes from the center of the wall to the outside of the finished wall. So that little short measurement in there. Dimension number three goes from the finished wall over to the center which ends up being the center of the water closet flange. Dimension number four goes from the same finished wall all the way out. And actually, if you took that line, goes straight across, ends up lining up with the center of the 45, which is between M and K. Dimension number five goes from the same finished wall all the way out down and if you go across to the left, it actually lines up in line with pipe N. As we start to think about finding and calculating the K, M, N, L, all the pieces of pipe on here, the four pieces of pipe, we have to keep in mind our 45 degree offset, our single 45 degree offset, because it could come in handy in helping us find the answer to some of these questions. And just to review, our, on a 45 degree offset, our advance and our offset are the two sides of the triangle that are not the hypotenuse are equal to each other. So if we know one side, we know the other. If we were trying to find the travel and we know one of those two sides are the advance or the offset, then we take the offset or the advance number that we know and we times it by 1.414 and that will give us the travel side or in some cases known as the hypotenuse side. We can also, if we know the travel, take the travel to find the offset or advance. We take our travel and we times it by 0 0.707 we can find the offset or the advance using that travel. So let's look at pipe L first. So pipe L, the red line here, I've drawn in a few green lines to create some triangles for us on the page. 
So I've turned L into a right angle triangle by having a green line going down from the center of the flange straight down to the bottom of the page and then going out to the left, creating a right angle triangle. So either side of the triangle, the green over here or the green on this side here, can help us find L center to center. So if we look around the outside of the page, we'll notice that dimension five covers this side of the green triangle. We can call it the advance, we can call it the offset, it doesn't really matter. It covers that whole green line, which is great, but you'll notice that five goes all the way to the finished wall, making it a little bit too long for us. So making it from the center of the flange to the finished wall that much longer. But we look at pipe dimension or dimension number three. Dimension three goes from that center of the flange to the finished wall, the same distance further than we need. So we take number five, which is too big for the offset or the advance, and we subtract the three, because which takes that bit longer than we need away. We subtract three from five. That will give us the green line here, which is our little offset or advance. But we're not done yet. We're trying to find L. So once we do that, we can take that answer and times it by 1.414, and that will get us L. To move over to pipe K. Pipe K goes from the center of the wall all the way down to the bottom of the page until the center of the 45 between it and M. If we look to our right from that, that center of that 45, straight up to the finish wall, dimension four. But it's not quite far enough. We still have to go from the finish wall to the center of that big red circle, that little red circle at the top of the page. So what is that? The finish wall to that circle. Oh, look on the right hand side. From this finish wall to the center circle, dimension number two. So we take four, dimension number four, dimension number two, whatever they may be, add them together. That will get us K center to center without using any of the 45 degree offset. Now, if we look at pipe M, pipe M is on a 45 degree. So if we were able to find the green line of the triangle, we could then find M. So we go to the right hand side here. We see that five goes all the way down, but we need to go, we only need to stop where the four stops. So we take number five, which is the green line, and then all the way to the finish wall, and take, oh, number four. Number four goes from that 45. That's as far as we want to go to the finish wall. If we take five, we subtract the four dimension. That will give us the green line, the offset of the events. Now we can take that number and times it by 1.414 to get M. Lastly, look at pipe N. Pipe N from left to right goes from this Y that intersects with M over to the 45, which intersects with L. We need to find that dimension there. We need to calculate the dimension. If we look straight at the top. Dimension number one. Dimension number one covers from the green line all the way over to this other green line. So it covers a majority of N, but not all of it. It actually covers too much, some too much, and missing some off the left hand side. So what we can do is we can take this dimension one, okay, which goes from the green line over to the other green line. If we take that dimension one and subtract the offset and advance that we calculated, the offset and advance number we calculated to help us find L, we take that off, that bottom green line, and we subtract it from one. That will now get us from the 45 over to the green line on the left-hand side. But we're not done. We've got to get that last little bit of green line there. So now, to get us there, we actually already know the rest of the number. 
So that green line that we helped us find, the offset or advance that helped us find M, we can now add it to N, to our dimension, to help us find N. And that's how we solve that.